Mobile coverage of CBIT 2015 is powered by ASUS. One of the things that's popular at CBIT is the bridge between the home and office networks, or even the multi-office network, and, and part of that solution is hardware and docking ports, docking stations, be it basic USB docking stations or full-on uh, hardware docking stations. We're also seeing some wireless docking station solutions now, and I took a look at the HP booth here in, in the Intel area at CBIT 2015 and some of the solutions. Take a look at the video. So we're at the HP uh, booth here at the Intel stand at CBIT 2015. This is a perfect place to show you a whole number of docking solutions. I'm not going to talk about the devices, I'm going to talk about the docking solutions that are here that go from really highly uh, integrated, extended docking solutions down to quite a basic one here and we'll start with that. This is for the, uh, the Atom based uh, HP tablets and I'll just uh, take that off and you can see that it's a fairly basic uh, docking station but it's a true docking station it's not a USB extender you've got the gigabyte Ethernet you've got VGA you've got uh, two USB ports there and a Kensington lock I'll just uh, try and locate that back in there there you go uh, and I'm going to talk about this one in a minute because uh, this is the, the sort of high-end uh, version but let's go over to a little uh, folding case dock over the back there so this is the kind of folio docking solution here. It's a bit more complex than some of the basic cheap folio docking solutions or cases, keyboard cases, because it's actually got a proper, uh, probably PCI, PCI bus or USB pass through there. We've got a USB, full USB port on the end there. You can just about see that. And then on the other side, I think that's a power port. It might even be an audio or a microphone port. I think it's actually a power port. And that is actually quite a nice keyboard, extremely light. Uh, and so it's a little bit more than just a keyboard. And that works with uh, a couple of the HP devices. Now, the king of the, and this is the big boy of the docks. This is a full integrated, and I, ex I expect it's got some sort of PCI uh, channel coming out of this. But there you've got on the side here, you've got a lockable dock with a mechanical um, release. We've got a Kensington security lock. No, uh, not a Kensington. It's just a security lock. I guess that's proprietary. Then look on the back here. Everything. VGA, gigabit Ethernet, two display ports, four USB ports, power, and separate mic and uh, audio out ports there. So a full... Uh, docking solution there and that will work on a number of the devices and this is the, the the 1040 it works on the 1020 and there's another one here the Elite X2 I think that is can't remember that revolve 810 of course yes yes because it revolves but anyway that's uh, that's the, the the sort of king of the docking solutions for those three devices there so the future is wireless. This is a Ygig docking uh, solution from HP. We saw one from Dell uh, a, year, a year ago with uh, one of their devices. It was a bit, bit sort of pre-Ygig. Uh, this is a proper Ygig uh, solution based on Intel's tri-band um, module inside this uh, MVX2. Uh, now there's quite an expensive little module here, 200 plus uh, dollars for this, but it, it, is, it is operating wirelessly. All the data is coming over this and we've got HDMI uh, there's a USB connection there, you can have VGA out, there's a mini DP, sorry, a DP port there. And I think on the side, yeah, there's a microphone and a headphone port there as well, if you can see that. So truly um, wireless, portable as well, and I think first generation is this big, second, third generation, you're going to see them a lot smaller. And actually, you know, if we can reduce the need for things like VGA and just rely on mini, dis uh, sorry, display port, and USB 3 or USB-C in the future, that's gonna be a really, really interesting solution, especially as the price comes down. So, there's a look over a number of docking solutions from HP here at CBIT 2015, from full hardware docking through mini tablet docking, and then that folio dock at the back there, and the Ygig solution there. Really nice to see all those hot desking solutions around. My name's Chippy, HP at the Intel booth, CBIT 2015. Thanks for watching. Mobile Geek's coverage of CBIT 2015 is powered by ASUS. Yeah.